Here is your African true story. Ethiopia. How Israel sterilized Ethiopian Jewish immigrants without their knowledge. Israel is believed to have been giving Ethiopian Jewish immigrants birth control injections, often without their knowledge or consent, over the years. After five years of denial, Israel government officials finally admitted to targeting Ethiopian Jewish immigrant women with long-acting contraceptive injections without their consent. Most of the women were either coerced into accepting the Depo Provera injections while living in Israeli-run transit camps in Ethiopia or were unaware that the injections produced temporary sterilization. After arrival in Israel, the Ethiopian immigrants still received Depo Provera in disappropriate numbers in the HMOs providing healthcare services. Nearly 144,000 Ethiopian Jews have moved to Israel under the law of return since the 1980s, but their Jewishness has been questioned by some rabbis who have said that African immigrants threaten Israel's existence as a Jewish and democratic state. Ethiopian Jews living in Israel have long complained of institutional racism and violence at the hands of the government and law enforcement. Statistics show significant inequalities between Ethiopian Israeli and the rest of the population. Ethiopian soldiers are sent to military prison at a higher rate than other groups and are arrested in civilian life at a higher rate than the general population. In 2017, approximately 4% of Israeli Defense Force soldiers came from the Ethiopian community, yet they accounted for 15.0% of female and 10.78% of male prisoners, according to the Association of Ethiopian Jews. According to a recent report by the government's anti-racism coordinating unit, the number of complaints of racial discrimination it received doubled in 2019, with 37% of such charges coming from the Ethiopian community. The report also noted that while Ethiopian Jews com 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 comprise of 1.7% of the population, the arrest rate stands at 3.7%. Despite being in Israel for more than three decades, the vast majority of Ethiopian Jews continue to be marginalized and discriminated. Apart from forceful sterilization, social economic gaps between Ethiopian Israelis and the general population persists despite Israel claiming otherwise. Women's group were first alerted to the widespread use of Depo Provera in the Ethiopian community when an Israeli woman who runs a daycare center for 120 Ethiopian children in Bnei Brak, a suburb of Tel Aviv, observed that she had received only one new child in the previous three years. She approached a local health clinic serving the 55 Ethiopian families in the area and was told by the clinic manager that they had been instructed to administer Depo Provera injections to the women of childbearing age though he refused to say who had issued the order. The daycare owner who interviewed the women said they had not been told about alternative forms of contraception or about the side effects or given medical follow-ups. The women complained of a wide range of side effects associated with the drug, including headaches, abdominal pain, fatigue, nausea, loss of libido, and general burning sensations. Depo Provera is also known to decrease bone density, especially among black women, which can lead to osteoporosis in later life. Doctors are concerned that it is difficult or impossible to help women who experience severe side effects because the drug is in their system for months after it is injected. The contraceptive reputation has also been tarnished by its association with South Africa, where the apartheid government had used it often coercively to limit the fertility of black women. Allegations of official racism towards Ethiopia also gained prominence when it was admitted that for many years all their blood donations had been discarded for fear that they might be contaminated with diseases. There have also been regular reports 
of Ethiopian children being denied places in schools or being forced to attend separate classes. In 2018, a survey of employers in the main profession showed that 53% preferred not to hire an Ethiopian. In the face of post-war condemnation of Western conquest and apathy domination of countries such as Zimbabwe and South Africa, as well as a more recent globetide of Black Lives Matter consciousness, Israel has via recent Western political media ideological engineering escaped scrutiny for its systematic racist colonial construction even when its victims are Jewish people of color. Even when reports of its racism escape the ideological censorship, examples of racism in Israel are treated as isolated incidences rather than systematic characteristics of the entire racist regime. Israel should be held responsible for allowing racism to be a norm in the country, considering the persecution, displacements, and racism the same Jewish community went through in Europe in the 20th century. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, follow, share, and like our video. It's the best way of supporting us. And remember, Africa is watching.